it's a beautiful sunny day so what we're going to do is go up this lift use the blue to drop down and start on the black cross country course today and the reason i'm doing the black cross country course is because when you come here and just stay in the bike parks you're losing your fitness and i like to keep it up a bit so black cross country before hitting the bike park stuff right start and let's do this one taking it easy so there won't be any good pallets here and just pump down Blue's just a means to get to the beginning of the Black Cross Country. Right, now the pedalling starts. This is the start of the climbing. I've already taken a wrong turn, but you can't be too sad about that when it takes you to a place that looks like this. Absolutely beautiful. But we're actually out of the cold as you plan at the moment. At 1700 meters altitude and Judging by the sign, we've ridden into Switzerland. And there's my beautiful little hardtail having a wonderful day out. Snow capped mountains in the background. Doesn't get much better than that. Fairly sure I've found the Black Cross country now, although it's not signposted like it used to be for some reason, so I had to guess from memory. Here's the first of the uh, little cabins that get increasingly better on this ride. One down there and one up there, as you can see that. I love this ride because it just gets you out into such beautiful places and it's more varied and interesting than smashing burns in the bike park. training on the climbs and you can listen to my bike creaking and squeaking away you can feel the heat in the sun but there's a nice cooling alpine breeze that's absolutely perfection the weather today what an alpine view log cabin and snow capped mountains in the background and when you get to this log cabin it pretty much marks the end of the high altitude cross country thin air training section as a cross country ride or perhaps it's this cabin that marks the end of that right. 
Down hill for a while now. Bonjour. This car park, that's the end of the fire road stuff. We duck around this gate here. Make sure to select a bit of gear for ducking in. And then there's a little bit of like old road that the forest is uh, reclaiming. And then it slowly turns into single track. Once you get down this rocky chute and do the river crossing, the trail just gets better and better. Although it's always wet because it's always wet. Pick away for the worst of it. There we go. Bring the tires off. Oh, and then it starts proper fun. bikes rattling itself to death. Riding in the Alps really does take a toll on the equipment. Beautiful little uh, stream to cross, and then uh, you to be in the right gear to get up here. Oh, listen to my handlebars creaking. Now you can listen to my saddle squeaking. A nice person to put rocks in the middle of the big puddles for you to uh, get across. So you don't eat your whole wheel. Like this one. Another little river crossing and a punchy little climb after it. Oh, come on, keep going. Nope. Little pedal on a rock then, and that messed that up. Oh, not used to picking a route through rocks because we don't have them at home. joy to ride on a proper cross country bike. Not 
well that it's not a joy to ride on this bike. I do feel the weight of it. And then out onto this machine's driveway. Uh, bonjour, merci. Hit the road, on down here, but make sure you don't miss the turning at the end. Otherwise you miss out a really good bit of trail. And this turning up here. I absolutely love this bit because you're going across lovely, beautiful alpine meadows. That's the old Renault 5. remember to straighten my handlebars when I get in town because I'm still a bit crooked from a little off yesterday. Turn down there, across this field, and then we're looking for turning on our right. It's easy to miss. <laughs> Bonjour, merci. And I do remember where the turning is. I know it's down here somewhere. Here it is here. gear but we made it and then we go down here and we've got the river crossing that I have never managed to get across And another one, probably there's a, a little waterfall to your left, and it's quite a drop. And that's it, the final bit before town, across this field. Right, back at Leger, so time for a sandwich and a drink. <laughs> 